belly dance lesson number two how to do chest slides you can do this one slow or a little faster or while you're walking <laughs> no. forward is better for me <laughs> okay so let's start with, with your position you want to keep your heels just slightly apart so that they're not crushing you and your toes slightly open and then your knees are just going to be soft meaning you're not going to lock them and be all stiff from the bottom part uh, because it's just going to make it harder and it's going to make you look very stiff so you just want to unlock your knees they're not completely bent they're just unlocked and you have most of your weight or you're based on your heels right like not leaning towards the front of your toes and your pelvis is going to be neutral meaning not sticking up out and also not extremely tucked in right we're just normal pelvis just tucking it in slightly down or pointing it down this is not really a tuck a tuck will be like all the way away from the core and we're not doing that right so it's just gently pointing down like if you think of your of your uh of your sac sacrum right your sacrum your tailbone just slightly pointing down so now that you have that you can begin gliding your chest to the sides so how are you going to be doing this we're using our whole core but mainly i'm coming forward so you can see me a little better now that you know your footwork anyways i mean or your standing position so your rib cage will glide to this side without moving your hip so you're not pushing your hip to one side and then gliding the chest right the the bottom part it remains like stable the only part is the top part now you want to keep your back just straight but not overly arched because if you overly arch it it's your rib cage is just not going to glide because you're literally locking with your shoulder blades and your muscles you're locking your spine and it cannot glide in your rib cage so you are not also not going to be slouching because this first of all looks horrible if your dancer is not a graceful position but also is going to give you a hard time gliding because it's going to compress all your muscles so you got to find that sweet spot where your tailbone as i said is gently pointing down and your chest is kind of like neutral like not overly arched but neutral not rounded either neutral and we're not moving the arms okay so an easy way to learn this or at least this is the way that I usually have explained it, and I think it's a little bit easier to learn is to keep your arms out to the side and just kind of stretch out to the side, but not down, okay? Not down. Just gliding to the side as if you're trying to stretch your arm. So you're feeling the muscles that you're going to be using and isolating for your chest slide, right? So this might help you better to understand or to feel it in your body just stretching the arms to the side again your pelvis is neutral okay if that didn't help much then put your hands on your hips lower part of your hips here not too high that they're not on your waist they're lower in your hips just resting and you can put your thumb down and the reason for this is so you can use this as a lever to so you're kind of holding into here so you can push yourself to the sides right so they hold here so that's another way that you can start learning or understanding how your body will move to the sides okay so again hold it and you're gonna glide to one side so now you're gonna feel this side pushing and this side pulling right and if you don't feel it that's okay eventually you will learn to feel your body every dancer needs to feel their body so that you know what movements or what muscles feel like that are activating and deactivating as you move and then the other side right and you can hold it here to stretch even further right like to help you stretch make sure that your shoulders 
are parallel to the floor, meaning you're not folding downwards, okay? So if you have a mirror, you can look at yourself there because this upper body needs to glide completely parallel to the floor. So all of this is down parallel. There's no circular motion. We're not folding down, okay? Now, if this didn't help, you can try using your hands and kind of like pushing you to one side. So you will pull one, one in one side of the rib cage and push you to one side while you hold your hip. Push. Now you're gonna switch, push. Now you're gonna switch, push. This is just to help you get or understand the movement, okay? Push. Shift, push. So now that you um, are ready, let's try it with one hand on each side and then um, one hand, other hand, and then no hands, okay? But let's start with hands on the hips first. We're gonna do eight counts. And five, six, seven, eight, glide one, glide two, three, glide four, glide five, glide six, seven, eight, good. Come to neutral, lift one hand, just keep it low here, shoulders relax, and glide five, six, seven, eight, and glide, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, let's shift the hands, other hand out, same thing, we're gonna glide to the same side though. Five, six, seven, eight, glide, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Come to neutral, let's do both hands down. Five, six, seven, eight, and glide, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Take a deep breath. Exhale. All right, it's good that we stretch. So I know we didn't do a long time, but let's just do a little stretch because it's good that you protect your body. Take good care of it. Let's shift to the other side, especially because there are so tiny muscles and it's important that you guys stretch afterwards, okay? Let's turn to the side. Open your legs just a little bit. Keep your butt lifted and just Hold as if you're holding a big fat ball here, okay? Take a couple of breaths, relax down, and just let it swing, swing, swing. And slowly come up, hold your hands on your hips, still with your legs slightly open, push your hips forward, chest lifted, and just do your back bend here. And come back to center. Good, take a deep inhale. Exhale, and that's it. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye.